um, through Twitter. Um, and I actually follow LA, and I've been following him for a while. And I love the, like how much he likes One Direction and like Louie and all the boys. It's so surreal to see them like doing their own thing. Uh, everyone, give it up for Louie Tomlinson. Welcome. So, so awesome to have you in here. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me down. How have you been? Good, good. It's a nice looking place, isn't it? Oh my gosh, yeah. Got a lot of money here, haven't they? Yeah, it's nice, yeah. Oh, uh, you've been working so hard uh, recently on promo and everything. How has that been going? Yeah, it's been great. It's been great to, uh, you know, see different parts of America again and uh, have a bit more free time in these places, you know, see the fans as well. So, yeah, it's been really cool. That's amazing. What's the craziest thing that has happened while on this kind of like promo tour? Um, it's a bit cliche, but all the shows, the shows have just been amazing. Like, and always, you know, I'm, uh, I'm lucky the atmospheres are, are really good. So, uh, yeah, the shows have been amazing. You love the bus. I've heard I you love it. Love the bus. <laughs> yeah, 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 I do. I do. It's my second home, definitely. Because the thing is, you know, when you're moving about hotels all the time, you, don't, you never have one base. Whereas if yeah. you're just on the bus, you know, you can kind of treat that as your second home. That's awesome. Uh, I was told by another artist that a uh, little insider tip, you're not allowed to doo-doo on the bus. You can't shit on the bus, no. Yeah, what, like, I, I heard that some artists actually took it and dumped it over an overpass, and that's the reason. Yeah, can't say I've ever done that. Um, I, I might have friends who have, but no, no, I've never done that before. Um, no, yeah, you can't pull on the tour bus, there you go. That, <laughs> there you go, now you all know. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's go with 19 then. Who's got 19? 19 back there? You just got tickets to the sold out show with Louis Tomlinson next year. Where are you? Stand up, love. Give us a wave. Hiya, hiya. Um, so about Walls, tell me about it. Like, what's the story behind it? Uh, where did it come from? Um, the song or the album? Uh, bo both. The album in general, I mean, lyrically, I'm always... There's times where I've tried to be fictional, but most of the time, 90% of the time, I write autobiographically. So, you know, I write from the heart and I'm try I always try to strive for as much honesty as I can and, you know, try and make whoever's listening to it feel something. Yeah. What is your writing process? I'm so curious, like, what, you know, from, I'll start to finish, if you could kind of sum it up, how does it go? It varies with different, you know, when you're working with different groups. But um, in an ideal world, I like to work with me and two other people and uh, people that I've worked with before. Um, so I worked with Jamie Hartman a lot on this, uh, on a lot on this album. He wrote on Walls and Kill My Mind as well. And so I might go into the session. I might say, you know, I might have a list of concepts or song titles on my phone, and I'll say like, this is what I want to talk about today, and we'll start with that, and then uh, then we'll go on to do the melody and then fill out the lyric. Um, but normally starts with the concept and starts with kind of what I want to say and what I want to get out of the song. That's awesome. And I also want to dig into the story behind all of your music videos recently. Tell me about that. It's so fascinating. This man, Charlie, did it. Give it up for Charlie, people. Hey. <laughs> um, yeah, I did the three videos with, uh, with Charlie. And uh, as I said before, you know, once I've written um, one of the songs, you know, I'll have kind of a week listening to it and I'll have like an instinctive... Um, idea of what I want the videos to look like, you know, and what um, what the song makes me feel visually. Um, so, and, you know, I kind of, Charlie's been amazing on this process, you know, he's been very open to my ideas and we've collaborated really well. Um, and we said at the start of the process, you know, we want to do a video that kind of has a narrative that fits across like three pieces. Um, and it's definitely, definitely something I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of. Personally, my favorite is uh, don't let it break your heart video. Mm -hmm. Love that. Love that. Yeah. Was it, did you guys like that one? Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I think we're on about doing like a long piece as well, something like so you get the glue in between, you know what I mean? In between the three parts, you get a little bit more narrative in that. That would be incredible. That would be awesome. Um, wow. That, this, I just like the whole idea of being able to mash together multiple different things that you don't think normally would be able to be asked together, you know what I mean? No, absolutely, absolutely. And it makes it all, you know, kind of more storytelling and visual, definitely. Um, all right, another question from Twitter that was just resounding. Um, when is the merch coming? Um, I just seen an email recently about this. Uh -oh. I'm trying to think when. Soon. I know you don't I know you want a better answer than that, but um pretty soon, pretty soon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I, I should know the answer, but I think yeah, relatively soon. Relatively soon. Yeah, is that good enough? Oh thanks. Thanks for that.
Uh, Hannah Campbell from Twitter uh, wants to, this is a really good one, she wants to know, if you had one question to ask your fans, to ask your Louis, what would you want to know? Um, I don't know, I'd be interested, you know, I'm often interested in what, uh, like what lyrics people are drawn to, and it's often like, you know, opinion based, some people, you know, different things mean different things to other people, so I might ask them, I don't know what their favourite lyric is, and why. Okay. I find it interesting, yeah. All right, all right. That's awesome. Uh, what are some of your guys' favorite lyrics? I want to know. Shout them out if you. Uh, you can't say why. Can't. Is it an embarrassing one? I hope not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, in perfect now. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a nice story. It's a nice story. Nice, nice. All of t all of two of us. Yeah, all of it. yeah. I like that lyric. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. Well, thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Um, let's grab another one from here. Uh, we have time for a, a few more. Um, you want to pick one? Go on, yeah, I'll have a look. Have a look. Yeah. There's, there's a whole thread. It's like an essay. Wow, yeah. I can't not pick any. <laughs> um, I'm at the bottom of the list, hang on. Um, what song means the most to you? This is from, oh, here is it, Des Despina? Have I said that right? Despina E? Yeah, yeah, hi. Um, well, for obvious reasons, two of us means a lot to me, definitely. Uh, massive song and having these, you know, these uh, occasional encounters with fans and different people about what the song means to them. Like, that's massive for me. That's amazing as a songwriter. So uh, that's incredible. But also... Um, Walls is a really special song for me because we recorded it towards the end of the album. Um, and we also did live strings uh, in London on that. And I just had this moment where, you know, I don't know how many musicians were there, but there was plenty. And I was kind of just sat, you know, kind of behind watching it all unfold and thinking this is all for my song, Walls. It was a pretty amazing feeling. So those two. If you could put into words what that feeling is, like if you could put in like one word, how would that feeling of people reacting to your music, how would you how would you say that would feel? I think proud, proud or fulfilled, yeah, because that's the intention, that's the job, you know what I mean? That's awesome. Um, I was talking to uh, I was talking to some of the fam here uh, about if they could describe you in one word earlier, and they would uh, one answer stood out to me: uh, sunshine. They would just say sunshine. Ain't that nice? Ain't that nice? <laughs> He's a lovely. Well, everyone, uh, thank you so much for coming. Louis, thank you so much. Give it up for Louis Tomlinson. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for coming. Love yous. Love yous. Yes. All right, we're going to go grab some pictures. So if you want to get ready, um, and I'm sorry. Oh, oh, yeah. I totally forgot. Hold on one sec. I forgot. I was sent this, and we wanted to gift it to you. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. I put it on my tree. I put it on my tree as soon as I get home. It's amazing. Lovely. Lovely. Very nice. Who's responsible for this? Who's right, cool, cool. Proper sweet, yeah, nice one. All right, thanks. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Do you want me to come play? All the hits. Today's hits. TDY. 96.5 TDY.